Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg. I'm founder of InvisalignDoctors.com. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at one movement in the uh, 3D control toolbar. And it's this one right here. It's called crown angulation, mesial or distal crown angulation. And I highly recommend that this, that you keep this value or click down this value under two degrees for posterior teeth and if possible, cuspid teeth in your treatment plans. Doing this will improve the movement predictability in a significant way. It's a difficult movement. And even if you don't see a blue or black dot, you know, when the TMA is turned on here, tooth movement assessment, I highly recommend you click that value down. You'll see a better result if you do. So let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna highlight, I'm gonna look at the value. And if I see that value over two degrees, I'm just gonna click it down. There it's 1.6. Tooth number 13 was already 1.3, but notice that tooth number 20 is 11 degrees, almost 12 degrees. So if you show the original, there is crown tip, it's, there's mesial crown tip. So in this particular case, you want some correction, but can you just concede a little bit of it? So let's go the left side, left arrow, and let's just say, what, what if you just kind of click that down to five? And I know it's not under two, but that's just one tooth where you're going to go for a little bit more because there's crown tip. Or maybe you want it six. If you leave it around six, it's about half the degree it was before. So I've clicked down the value of tooth 20. If you go all the way down to zero, of course, this is what you're going to see. Okay, so that's what I would do. Let's... um. Let's go ahead and continue checking movements. Okay, I've already checked 12. Let's check the uh, upper first or upper left premolar. So let's click that down. 5.9. So I click the right arrow, it gets bigger. So then I have to go over and click the, the left arrow. The cuspid tooth is pretty okay. And the lower cuspid tooth is really quite good. Now there's other movements programmed here, and I'm not saying you just always accept all movements except this. But what I did here is going to impact your um, treatments. It's going to improve tracking. It's going to improve the movement predictability of your posterior teeth because you're clicking down one of the very difficult movements. It's probably one of the most difficult movements of posterior teeth. Torque is another, buccal or lingual torque, which is right here. I'm not going to talk about that today, but anyway, that's a difficult movement. So I've greatly simplified posterior movements by clicking that value down. Go ahead and turn on the 3D controls in one of your case and just practice doing it, see how it looks. I highly recommend you do it. I hope this video is helpful for you.